Hello, nerds, and welcome back to a very special episode of The Legend of Dragoon, right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Legend of Dragoon video. There are only a few more left, my friends. Huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres every Monday, Wednesday, Friday around 2 p.m. Eastern. Sincerely appreciate you guys. You rock my socks. In the last episode, we did everything that we could do in Mayfill, including the Dragon Spirit optional bosses. And of course, we rid the 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 demon Zackwell from the Spirit of Lavitz, and he opened the way for us to the final Signet Sphere. The point of no return for the entirety of Legend of Dragoon, which means this episode and the next one are going to be all about uh, the optional things that we can do before we head to that final world. And the first one we're going to do is we're going back to Velweb, where the Seven Dragoon Towers were located, and we are going to take on the Seven Dragoon Spirits of the, of the Dragon Campaign, but it's actually only four of them because... Well, you'll see. Anyways, uh, we flew over to Diningrad, and now we want to head over to Kashua Glacier, and we're just going to walk through it. In case you forgot how to get to Velweb. Now, what's super interesting about this place, uh, uh, there is also a another optional boss that we can fight here in Kashua Glacier-ish. Uh, but we won't be doing that in this episode. That one is going to be saved for the next one considering it is the hardest boss in the entire game. And we'll just cut through the snow fields and finally make our way to Capital Velweb. But it is really just a straight shot to where we need to go. There also is a vendor here if you need to stock up on any healing items or anything. Don't forget that those brothers are still here. And this is where we need to go. Rose. Visit me again, but my power is at its limit. Please save the souls of the four dragoons who were our companions. Surely, you have done well. But we have to pursue Zeke now. I will trust you to save the dragoon's souls. Yes, absolutely. So, definitely save before you head into the towers. Let's do this, my friends. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm just going to go counterclockwise around the towers and just do them as they appear. So the first one that we have is right here, my friends. And for this battle that we have going on in the Jade Dragoon Tower, I am going to use a party of Dart, Rose, and Kongle. And I want to go ahead and show real quick what they have equipped. Uh, nothing huge on either, uh, any of them, to be honest with you. Rose has the Magical Ring and Dancer Shoes equipped in the Magical Hat just so that her... Uh, magic attack is as high as it can possibly be because that's the only real thing she's going to be useful for in this fight. And Kongle is rocking uh, the Phoenix Plume, the Armor of Yore, Bandit Shoes, and Magical Ring again so that his magic is really strong so that if we use Dragoon abilities, which we will, uh, they'll be able to do some serial, serial damage. Uh, all right, so let's continue in and face our first Dragoon Spirit, Soy Veil. Soy Veil? Nothing has changed here. Not even a bit. See, Yuval, it is such an irony that you, who studied life and death, cannot die completely. Hmm. Is that you, Rose? Is anything wrong? You brought a lot of guests with you. I was asked by Shirley and came to see how you're doing. How are you? How are your studies? Through the subjugation of Mayfield, I think I completely understand where life comes from and where it goes. Wingleys have been manipulating souls, namely life from Mayfield, the place known as the Death's Capital, and the Crystal Palace, known as the Life Capital. We saw in Mayfield the destination of life, the darkness opened up into hell. <laughs> the world of shadows without light. That is why you cannot die completely. Uh, I don't want to go to a world of nothing spread out on the tip of darkness. I don't like nothingness. Where should I go? I'll tell you now. Oh, man. Oh, this is some emotional stuff. And now we are put into a battle against Siuvil. Siuvil. 
It's Yuval. It's a hard name to pronounce, okay? I'm not used to it. 10,000 health, of course, Wind Elemental. He is the original Jade Dragoon, one that studied his entire life. And he fights exactly like you would expect a Jade Dragoon to fight. Even his addition looks, oh, delicious. 740 damage. Obviously, like any boss fight, we're going to do our normal stuff here, which is a speed down, a power down, a power up. You get the idea here. We're going to go ahead and speed down. See you, Vil. See, I said it. See you, Vil. Uh, power down. Perfect. Now, he is going to use exactly what you would expect from the Jade Dragoon. He's got his gasless magic. Uh, the only thing he will not use that you can use as a Dragoon is uh, the only the uh, uh, Rose Storm. He will not use Rose Storm at all, so you don't have to worry about that, which is which is pretty nice. Uh, but he it was still going to be a little challenging here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, attack with Kongle here. 942, and I didn't even wasn't even able to get Bone Crush. I'm going to go ahead and power up Kongle as well. Now, unfortunately, Kongle does not have full SP, so he can't use his special. Uh, so that's a little annoying. Rose now is actually going to go ahead and use the Psych Bomb X. Again, only 10,000 health on this guy. Two hundred and thirty percent or so on that psych bomb X. Of course, Rose not being a huge magic. What? Okay. Well, I take back what I was just about to say. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and Kongle is going to dragoon this up, my friends. It's also worth mentioning a little bit of trivia for you is that Siuvel, 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 uh, does not ever appear in Rose's flashbacks that showed the dragon campaign. Uh, so it's implied that he actually dies before the battle with Belbu Frama in Kadesa that we saw previously. So, uh, as, as, as is fun to show, the Golden Dragon, for the second time in the entire game, we're seeing this spell. And I think, I think it's gonna do what it needs to do, my friends. Take Siuvel with us into the earth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, listen. This is all to free his spirit. 3,750. I was actually expecting a lot more damage out of Kongle right there. But I guess without the special, it just doesn't do as much damage. Now, I also went and farmed out a pellet real quick because I knew that this fight might be challenging. We'll go ahead and use that from Rose, and let's hope for the best. Two hundred thirty-four percent for two thousand three hundred forty damage. And we have defeated the first of the four dragons, dragoons from the Dragon Campaign. We get 300 gold, 6,000 experience, and the Jade Stone, which halves any damage of uh, wind. Halves wind-based damage. I said that right. Congo leveling up to 39, Miranda 39 as well. Somewhere in the East Country, there is this legend. Life does not come from anywhere or go anywhere. It just goes around with all other lives is a part of a great wheel. I can come back again to the place with light, to the place with warm lives. How can I tell you? But maybe ahead in the hell you saw in Mayfill, there may be a place with light waiting for you. All is up to you. Yes, it is what I have to decide. Where I want to go now, I must think it through. Thank you, Rose. Wow. Let's keep going, Dart. Look at this place, man! Alright, one Dragoon Spirit released from 
this endless torment, or whatever you want to call it, this stuckness, let's move on to the next one. And here we go, entering into the next tower. Here too, the same as the past. She's still a kid. Yes, she was 15 years old back then. She was younger than Miru. Such kids could manage the power of dragoons? Yes, she was born between a human and a mermaid, so that she had a special power. Rose, you were worried and came here to see me. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, as always. Rose... Don't go anywhere. Don't leave me alone again. Say something. Rose, you will make me feel lonely like everybody else. No, I won't. There is nobody who bullies you like in the past anymore. We won't let them. Yes, Rose and the other dragoons are all kind to me. But why make such a sad face? Sorry, Damia, but there is somewhere you have to go. Forgive me. And now we are in battle with Damia, the possessor of the first Blue Sea Dragoon Spirit. And of course, we have a battle party of Rose, Dart, and Miru. She's going to fight exactly like Miru's Dragoon, except for she won't use her Rainbow Breath, so no healing coming out of Damia. Water-based elemental uh, with... 9,500 health. Obviously, like any fight, we're gonna go ahead and use our power downs, speed downs, all that jazz. Damia is actually a little fast and has pretty high magic defense like you would expect from the Blue Sea Dragoon, uh, but has very, very low physical defense. We'll go ahead and throw a power down on Damia as well. This is probably one of the easier fights just because of how little health she has and how much damage we are actually able to do in this fight. Uh, and we're actually going to go ahead and speed up Miru here. And power up Miru as well. Unfortunately, Miru got two turns in a row there, but that's okay. I think we'll be able to defeat this pretty quick. Three turns in a row. Uh, we aren't going to be relying on any of our... Uh, we're not going to be relying on any of our dragoons for this fight, uh, because I went and picked up some burnouts, and we'll use those on Damia. Two hundred and thirty-four percent for two thousand damage. Like I said, her magic defense is very, very high, so we are going to be doing less damage than you would hope. Psych bomb X coming out of Rose. Two hundred and thirty percent psych bomb for two thousand four hundred and seventy-seven damage. Dart getting a turn now. We'll just go ahead and attack with additions. Ah, always mess that up for two thousand damage. Jeez, that wasn't even finishing Blazing Dynamo. Absolutely incredible, and I believe that this burnout is going to be enough to seal the fate of Damia. Two hundred and twenty-six percent for two thousand one hundred and thirty-five damage. There we go. We have released her from this this unending life. And we get three hundred gold, six thousand experience, and the blue sea stone, which halves water damage. Dart leveled up to forty-four. That's too high. Slow down, buddy. Damia, everything will be fine. You won't become lonely anymore. When you go there, everybody will be waiting for you. It's true. I feel... I feel them. Are you coming, Rose? Yes. When the time has come, everybody goes there. 
then I'm relieved. See you. Now, let's go. Now, Damia is another dragoon that never appears in any of the flashbacks, assuming that she also died before the dragon campaign, the final battle of the dragon campaign against Melbu Frama and Kadesa. Uh, at least, that's what it would seem. She's also the youngest of all the dragoons at only 15 years old, and is one of the only hybrid characters ever mentioned in this game, being uh, both uh, human and mermaid. And would also appear from the dialogue that potentially her and Rose were really close friends during the Dragon Campaign. Or at least Rose might have been, like, her superior in some way. Now, for this next Dragoon Spirit, I'm actually going to go into it with a party of Dart, Rose, and Albert. I thought I would also show you what Miru had equipped in that last fight, because I just realized that I didn't do that. She had a mace, uh, which, oops, my bad. Uh, jeweled crown, blue be uh, DG armor, soft boots, and dancer's ring. Uh, we could have given her a magical ring and she would have been able to probably do a little bit more damage, but no big deal. Uh, and for this fight, Albert has the halberd, the magical hat, the JDG armor, the bandit shoes, and the magical ring because we will be requiring uh, some big old magic coming out of our boy Albert on this one. So let's head in for our third of four Restless Dragoon Spirits. Here too, the same as the past. He is... Children. <laughs> I will realize the freedom you wished, and the future I promised to you. Children, please watch us. Is that soul one of the dragoons that is trapped in this world? Yes. His name is Belzac. He is the dragoon recognized by the Golden Dragoon Spirit. But... What is tying him to this world? Hmm. Is that you, Rose? <laughs> and Zeg! No, it seems not. Uh, who are you? This is a long story. We don't have time to tell you about it now. Yes, indeed. The subjugation of Kadesa will be soon. This... Last strategy has to be completed for the sake of the children who were killed by Wingleys. You haven't realized it yet? Realized what? You are... No, not only you, but everybody but me has died. Mm. Everybody has died? And that includes me? Shirley died too? Oh, it... it cannot be. I took the attack of Super Virage with my own body to be the shield for Shirley. You remember now. No way. I don't believe Shirley died. I don't believe it! And now we will have to do battle against the original Golden Dragoon, Belzac, who we did see in the Dragon Campaign. He was the one that had the claw of the Super Virage sticking out of him being the shield for surely his love. As always, my friends, we are going to do what we always do, which is, are you sick of this yet? Uh, we're going to use our speed down, which against Belzac is a good thing. He's already slow. 18,000 health on this guy, and of course he is earth element. We're gonna go ahead, use that speed down. We're gonna go ahead, use that power down. Rose is going to go ahead and use that power up on Albert here. We are going to absolutely trash this boss, which I kind of feel bad about because Belzac is pretty awesome, but we are going to absolutely shrikety shrek him here. Now, like I said, I would normally come in here with the originator of the, uh, the, 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 the inheritor, I should say, of whatever Dragoon Spirit we're fighting. Uh, but in this case, I want Rose here because I think it's, it's the best for the story. Uh, so we aren't really doing that. I'm actually going to go ahead now and use the... Remember, this guy has really bad, just like Kongol, fights exactly the same as Kongol's Dragoon Spirit. Uh, he could use Meteor Strike, Grand Stream, Golden Dragon, and his additions are going to hit like an absolute truck. Uh, but he has very, very low magic defense, so obviously we're going to trickety Shrek this boss with a Psych Bomb X. Even though... 
It was used by Dart, the lowest magic in the group. It's still going to do a whopping 6,749 damage. And of course, he only has 18,000. Now, we are going to use Albert's special here. And it's very rare in my playthrough that you actually see Albert's Dragoon. For a lot of other people, that's not true. A lot of people rely on his Rose Storm because it is one of the best spells in the entire game. Uh, but we're not using that in this fight. Mm -mm. Nope, we are going to use Gaspless. Wind-based, 100% single target attack, 30 MP. We are going to see how much damage this does against the Earth Elemental Belzac. Nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine damage done by Albert to Belzac, and that, my friends, is the end of the fight. Was I wrong in the math? I guess he has a little bit less than eighteen thousand health. We get three hundred gold, six thousand experience, and the golden stone, which you guessed it, reduces uh, Earth element damage by half. Rose leveled up to thirty-nine. Now I remember all the truth. But death is not as sad as I imagined. Thank you, Rose. I mean, he gets to be reunited with Shirley. Surely that can't be a bad thing. It's not sad anymore. Yes, the Shirley you loved is there too. Let's keep going. We only have one more Dragoon Spirit that we need to rescue from the, their eternal unrest. And now for the last and hardest Dragoon Spirit that we have in this entire area. I'm, I'm a little nervous about this one. Let me go ahead and show you my party real quick, which is now going to be Dart, Rose, and Hatchel, which, uh, of course, I think you know the reasons why for Hatchel. Uh, but here's the thing. Hatchel is not very good in this fight. Rose isn't very good in this fight. If you wanted to cheese this and you wanted to make this fight as easy as possible, I would highly recommend a party of Dart, Miru, and Miranda. Miru and Miranda are just so fast, and their uh, their dragoons can do considerable amounts of damage, and you'll be able to do considerable uh, amounts of damage because of the 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 magic stat that these guys has have. I just want to point that out because this fight is very difficult. Uh, so we are going into this with Hatchel, who is weak against, not weak against this target, but will do less damage against this target. Uh, and Rose, who's not the strongest at this point in the game, right? Uh, this is my setup going into this fight. I put the bandit shoes on Dart just so that he's a little bit faster. Uh, Rose is still rocking dancing dancer shoes and dancer's ring to make her fast. Uh, and Hatchel is now running the bandit's ring, the iron knee piece. Uh, which actually needs to be the... I'm going to put him with the Magical Greaves. Much better. And you'll notice that I actually have a weaker weapon equipped. I have the Brass Knuckle, and that's because Thunder Fist is actually a thunder-based attack, meaning it's going to do less damage against this boss. Uh, so I don't want that. But I believe that's as good as we're going to get here. Obviously, I don't want to use my Armor of Legends uh, or my Legend Cask yet because I, I don't think we really need it for this fight. But we'll find out, and let's proceed! Here too. The same as the past. Hmm. Who is it? No, oh, it's you. You hate this place so much. What made you change your mind about coming here? I didn't change my mind. These dolls still make me feel nauseous. Ha! Say what you want. These are mementos to remind me of the taste of blood dripping from my fist. There is no reason to be criticized by you. The people killed by you won't be saved if they find a memento in such poor taste as their tomb. You came here to become one of these dolls. I now understand the reason why you are clinging to this world. You haven't killed enough. Then let me be satisfied with you! 
bring it, dude. Now we are facing the last of the Dragoon Spirits, the original Violet Dragoon Kansas, or Kansas, however you want to say his name. Listen, Rose says Kansas in the Dragon Campaign. That's what I'm going with. We're going to start off this fight with the speed down, which is absolutely mandatory because this guy is so incredibly fast. He's got very average uh, physical defense and magic defense and physical and magic attack, but his speed makes him so, so powerful. So we're going to go ahead and use that power down from Hatchel as well. And Dart is actually going to be the source of almost all of our damage in this fight. So we're going to go ahead and throw a power up on Dart now. And then hopefully we'll get another turn. Perfect. And we can speed up Dart as well. Trust me, uh, he is going to be doing the bulk of our damage in this. And mostly it's due to me not having time to practice my additions with other characters. So I'm like super rusty with Hatchel and Roses. Uh, so I'm not rusty with Dart. So I want to focus on him. Anyways, we're seeing a magic attack. Atomic Mind coming out of Kansas here. Luckily for us, he's going to hit Hatchel, and Hatchel's going to take no damage. 105 damage. Absolutely redonkulous. And here we go. Now you're going to see the damage that Dart can actually put off if I can do a Blazing Dynamo, which... <laughs> and I can! Nailed it! Oh! Oh! 3,344 damage with that Blazing Dynamo. That's what I was talking about. And already you can see how fast Kansas is. He does fight almost identical to uh to Hatchel, he just doesn't use one of his Thunder spells. He uses Thunder God attack, he uses Atomic Mind, and he uses the Dragon, the level five magic spell. And he does the additions, which actually do more damage than pretty much anything else except for his his dragon spell, which does a ton of single target damage. Even on Dart though, we're gonna see 291 damage out of that one. Not a lot of damage coming out. And we're going to go ahead and actually use Hatchel here to just do an addition. Even though I'm not very practiced with these additions and I'm barely going to be doing anything with that. And Rose, of course, is going to go ahead and use the Psych Bomb because we actually haven't had a chance to do that yet. Even though, like I've said before, Rose's magic isn't through the roof insane, it'll still do a pretty considerable damage. Probably like 2,700 or so. Let's see. What do we have? Give me something beautiful, baby. 2,630. I was so close. And we should be finishing this up. Of course, the Violet Dragoon, Kansas, has about 14,000 health and is a Thunder Elemental, meaning he's not weak to any element uh, and takes reduced damage from Thunder. Oh, man, I choked on that one. All right, let's see if we can do this. This, this end got sloppy here. Oh, my God, I'm messing up so hard. All right, come on, Dart. Bring it home with the Blazing Dynamo. <laughs> Oh, there was so much pressure. So much pressure. I could feel I could feel you viewers pressure there. Anyways, this should be enough to seal the deal on Kansas. A thousand damage out of Rose. And the Violet Dragoon has fallen. And we get 300 gold, 6,000 experience, and the Violet Stone, which you guessed it, halves the damage of Thunder-based attacks. We get a, uh, a level up from Rose and Hatchel. Rose 39, Hatchel 41. And that's it, my friends. We have defeated all of the drag Dragoon Spirits from the Dragon Campaign that have remained in this world. I was surprised when you joined the campaign by being persuaded by Shirley. But after all, it was to kill? Yes, that's right. But it wasn't the only reason. I thought the nobleness of Shirley, which I could never have, would take me somewhere I could otherwise never know. Some bright place I couldn't know. So even after death, I have been looking for that place. A bright place. I hope you can reach there. Let's keep going. I hope he can reach there as well, because, you know, his end his end dialogue there kind of made him sound like not such a jerk. Anyways, that is it, my friends, for all of the Dragoon Spirits that we can fight here. Obviously, now we know why the Fire Dragoon is not here, because Zeke is still alive, so obviously we can't destroy his spirit. 
shortly, of course, is still being holding on here. And obviously, Rose is, well, Rose. So if we continue this way, oh, come on. Keep on moving. I feel refreshed. I wonder if the healing power of Shirley still remains here. Well, what about Shirley? Surely she's still here. And that's it for Shirley. Her power still remains. We can still be healed, but she is no longer here. It's also worth mentioning that Shirley was actually uh, originally going to be a boss in this game in her original Dragoon form, uh, just like everybody that we just fought. However, uh, they decided not to include her fight because her basic attack was a little weak and she had unlimited MP, so she would constantly heal herself to max because that's how strong her spells are. She would just constantly keep healing herself. So they decided not to put this boss in the game, uh, And but the data is actually still on the disc and uh, you can actually see her battle model, which is which is very cool. And that's it for this episode. Now, I've always kind of found it weird that there's no closure at all, just surely. We know that she was anchoring those spirits here, and that's how we were able to defeat them. But there's no, like, thank you or anything. She just kind of is gone. Her, her energy remains, and we can be healed for free over here. But, like, that's it? I've always considered that to be super strange. Anyways, thank you guys so much for checking out this episode of all of the Dragoon Spirits. I hope you enjoyed uh, even the Kansas fight, which which didn't go as smooth as I would have liked. It still went fairly smooth. Of course, I would have liked to be able to break it by using Legend Cast and Armor of Legend, but I know you guys will yell at me, and I, I just decided not to. <laughs> I hope it was still fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. The next episode is the last of the optional episodes and that, my friends, is the battle against Magician Foss, the hardest boss in the entire game. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to the Dragoon Spirits.